Hey guys, welcome back to Reggie T Plus. Uh, it's been a minute since I've made a video, but uh, I've been very busy off the YouTubes. Busy in the real world. You know how it goes. So, I'm back on the mountain. Uh, this is like getting towards the end of fall. <clears throat> so there's a lot more you know, leaves on the ground. Uh, we're getting closer to that dreaded thing called winter for some people. For others, I'm sure they love it, but you know, I'm not a fan of the cold. I'm a Caribbean island guy. Now look at this the leaf came all, came along for the ride. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'm an island boy, so I'm not too keen on the cold. The fall is beautiful. But yeah, so I'm out here trying to get my steps in, quote unquote, because I've been slacking off a lot on working out, as we all do from time to time. I wish you guys could see through my eyes real quick. Let me see if I can show you what I'm seeing right now as far as that I get back to what I was saying, if I remember what I was saying. So, it's beautiful, right? Like, is it just me or maybe it's just me? I don't know. Let me just take it in for a second. Yeah, so I, was, I had to stop for a minute and take it in, taking the uh, the visuals of the falling leaves and everything. Um, it's really quite amazing. I tell you what, it's a it's really a shame for people who don't appreciate the many amazing beauties that na nature has to offer. Uh, it's really a shame <laughs> because she does have some amazing beauty. And obviously there's always a balance. So if there's a good, there's bad. <laughs> There's negative aspects of nature as well. Sorry about that. Like I was saying, there's uh, negative aspects of nature as well. So I'm not going to be, you know, too unrealistic in that, in that matter, in that fact. But yes, fall is a beautiful time of year. And I would definitely make the argument the most beautiful time of year visually, especially when you're in the Northeast. So, I'm taking my, my time for now, just a little stroll, uh, trying to get my steps in. The, the thing that I noticed with uh, working out is <laughs> the whole point of it is consistency, right? If you 
are doing it on and off, it'll never work. You'll never see the results that you're looking for, right? And oftentimes I have to even remind myself of that fact because if you neglect or take a week or two or three off of a consistent routine of working out, forget about it because you're putting in, right? I.e. you're eating every day, several times a day, right? But you're not burning that excess uh, calorie, fat, and so on. You're not burning, burning that stuff off. So it's just like accumulating over time. And then one day you turn around and you're breathing heavy to go up, you know, five flights of steps. So that's really what it's about. It's about the consistency in exercising. Don't sleep on that fact. But yeah, guys, just wanted to share some thoughts. I'm not sure what I'll discover today, if anything. Uh, maybe nothing, maybe a quiet walk up the mountain. But uh, if I do see anything, I'll rest assured, I'll bring you guys in on that. For now, I'm just gonna keep walking, taking this, this beauty in. Right? Beautiful morning for a walk. Well, guys, like I said, if I found something, I would uh, share it with you. So I think I've probably found one of the, arguably one of the more beautiful trails um, in and around this uh, section, this New Haven section of uh, county of Connecticut. So I'm I'm lost for words. I'm just like enjoying the view. But without any further ado, this is what I'm looking at. A beautiful, amazing lake right on the uh, on the trail path here. Pretty, pretty crystal water, blue skies, breathtaking, just simply breathtaking. How can you beat these colors? The sun glimmering, glistening off the lake. A beautiful, beautiful trail. I may say so myself. All right on the water. It's not deep enough, deep enough for boats, I don't think, but definitely a good spot for kayaking or uh, canoeing. No doubt about it. Nature at its best, as usual. So yeah, guys, hope you uh, enjoy the view as much as I do right now. But the trail must be completed, so I'm back on the path. This is a completely different area than um obviously <laughs> than what you've been seeing before um right now i came down off the mountain and i uh, entered into a different uh completely different uh hiking area so 
This area is called Wintergreen, for what it's worth. But yeah, I'm gonna continue back on the trail and continue to share any interesting insights in case I see anything that's worth sharing. Beautiful images, of course. All right. By the way, I've never been on this trail before. <laughs> this is really my first time being here. Um, certainly this far in, for sure. I've biked in a nearby biking trail, but never been on this hiking path before. So, yeah. I'm doing it for you guys. <laughs> Get some color back in. Okay, perfect. So yeah, I've done it for for my viewers on Ready T Plus. Again, as usual, thank you for watching. You could have been watching something else besides to click on this video. So I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm gonna continue on this path. Never been here before, so I don't want to be distracted. So catch you in a hot second. So this part of the trail is super narrow and weird looking. <laughs> but as long as I'm following the river, pretty sure I'm on the right path. I'm gonna go up this way. Just because these rocks seem like they were built in a step formation, but that could just be nature and that not uh, man-made. So let's see. Oh, yep. There would have been no pat, no way. Well, you could, but it's super sketchy down there, obviously. And I can see clearly up here that there is markation. So we're on the right path. Another markation here. Perfect. Let us continue. It's funny, it's like, today is like a perfect day to, for a hike like this, because well, for me at least, because I think we're in the high 50s today, so I'm literally overdressed right now. But from my experience, it's better to be overdressed than, than underdressed when you're on, in the outdoors, because you can always strip down your layers. You can never add on your layers if you never have them to be had them to begin with. So, food for thought. All right, I see. I think I see a little bridge thing coming up. Let's see. So this little part here is kind of a, a bit of a challenge because they do have demarcations here, but it's just like, it's so jagged. It's so sketchy looking or looks pretty dangerous. But uh, we're gonna go down, let's see. Okay. I'm really glad I purchased this, this, uh, hiking stick or walking stick, whatever you want to call it, when, when I went to Vermont, or was it, was it Vermont or was it Maine? I think it, when we were in Maine, yeah. That's where I got this. 
Acacia National Park when we hike that trail. Check out that video on my channel as well if you'd like to. <laughs> okay, let's see what's going on here. Coming out to a clearing and what seems to be a bridge. Okay, so I noticed this bridge here. Of course, this river seems to serve as an aquifer. So that's where I'm coming from. And that's where we're going. Where it leads, no one knows. I'm not gonna say I'm afraid of heights, but uh, heights do get me queasy a little bit. Okay, so this is another well, the other side of the bridge we just crossed. Um, yeah, it's pretty clear, beautiful day out. So we're gonna go that way. We should end up eventually, because it looks like a big circle. So we should end up where we started. Let's see. So yeah, again, always remember, keep moving. Ready to see plus, peace, thanks for watching.